Welcome everyone. I'm Dina from the Marks Group Live, and I'm happy to be reviewing how do I create user groups in Zoho CRM. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions that you have on this subject or anything else related to Zoho. Also be sure to rate this class so help out your fellow Zoho users as well as to improve our video library. Now to the main points we'll be discussing today. First point is that the purpose of groups is to allow various users to share records among themselves. Users can be part of multiple groups, and what's important to remember is that once you create a user group, you have to take the extra step of creating sharing rules, because that's the only way that everyone in the group will then be able to access the records they need to see. So now let's look in Zoho and, and show how to create the user groups. So the first thing you're going to do from the home screen is go to the top right corner and go to the tools that are crossed and select on that. Then you're going to go to users. And once you're in users, you're going to see there's users, there's groups, and there's activate users. To create a group, you're going to choose groups. And then you're going to see there's a, a number of groups already existing in our instance. But you're going to click on new group. And then you're going to name the group, and that's a required field, that's the red bar. So I'm going to call this one Deal A Team, and I'm going to give it a description for everyone involved with Deal A. Then I have to decide, okay, who's involved with Deal A, and who do I want to include in this group? So the first option you have is to choose the user specifically. In our instance, we only have two users, so it's not too cumbersome to do that. And if you just highlight one of the one of the users, click the arrow, you'll see they'll become a selected uh, to be a user for this group. If you click the down arrow, you have several other options. The next option is roles, and these match the hierarchy that we have, and you can select which of these roles will be involved in this group. So in this case, I'm going to include the salesperson. And again, I'm just going to click on the arrow, and they're included in the group. You can then also, the other option is to select roles and subordinates. In this case, if I was to choose the VP of sales, then the sales manager reports into the VP of sales, and so does the salesperson. So they would all be included in this group, and I would select that. And then finally, you can choose other groups. So a group can be part of another group. In this case, let's say we wanted all of sales to be involved in this group. So we could click on sales, then the arrow, and then all of sales is included here. Next, you want to scroll down and you want to click save. And then you see here you have the deal A team details. And you'll see you have the group name, you have the description that I put in. And then you're going to have all of the associated either users, roles, etc. So here you'll see we had chosen the TMG Live Gen user, so that's the associated user. We had chosen the salesperson, so that's the associated role. VP of sales, when we chose the associated role and subordinate. And the associated groups, we had chosen sales. And then when you go down, it'll show you the group users. Now you can see here that although we only chose a Live Gen user, the live admin had to fall either in the sales group or the VP of sales group or is a salesperson, and that's why that person is now included as well. If we go back, I can show you if we edit this, and let's say we were to take out the salesperson, so you would highlight the salesperson and click delete, then you would click save. Then you could see here under associated roles, there's no role that has been associated because we got rid of the salesperson. So you still have the others that you chose, but there's no salesperson role. So now the next step after you create the, the group, the most important thing you need to do is then go to create the sharing rules. So you go to security settings, and then you go to data sharing settings. And then you're going to scroll down here until you get to sharing rules. And what you can see here is that for each module, you have leads, you can have accounts, um, contacts, deals, etc. 
you can you have to set a sharing rule for each module. In this case, you can see that the marketing group is sharing with the marketing group with read, write, delete, and the training group is sharing with the training rule. So let's say we want this this deal A team to be able to share a, a lead. So you would do new sharing. Then you would say the records are sharing from which group, and then you choose the deal A team, which is a group we just created. And then where are those records being shared from and to? You would share, you would again select the deal A team. And then here's where you can decide, do you want everybody to be able to read, write, and delete on those records or read only? And maybe what they really want is just for them to read only so they can see where, where we are in the deal. Then you would hit create sharing rule. And then if you scroll down again to sharing rules, you can see that now the deal team has a sharing rule. The deal A team shares from deal A team to deal A team. And remember I had said it was read only, so we can only read only here. And again, if you decided that this deal A team needs to share an account, you can then create a new sharing rule here on this account. So now let's go back and, and look at our key takeaways again to review, review where we're at. So as I mentioned, groups allow various users to share records among themselves. Users can be part of multiple groups, and probably the most important thing when you create a user group is that the sharing rules need to be created before everyone in the group has access to the records. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please check out the li our library for other videos like this one. If you have suggestions for other classes or for questions you may have about Zoho, don't forget you can always email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Don't forget, thanks for watching, and we hope to hear from you.